Good evening. Today we're going to be discussing how to turn your PowerPoints into flip charts. A lot of people like to use flip charts because they're very easy to use when you're doing small presentations, maybe just with a group of friends, and you're all sitting around your kitchen table. So we are going to, good evening, Sarah. We are going to talk about how to turn your PowerPoints into flip charts so you don't have to go through a lot of work to create something new. All right, so I'm going to turn my camera around. All right, so you can see here that I have my brain class right here on my computer in my presentation. And what I want to do is I want to put it in this cool book that I bought. And I just got this on Amazon. It's a flip chart. Um, it's slightly different than a notebook because it will Velcro together and stand up in a triangle shape, which I'd have to use both hands to show you fully, but you get the idea like this. So the idea of a flip chart is that they'll see this side and then I'm seeing this part over here, which of course would not be upside down. Okay. Like that. Okay. So that way I can have my notes and they can see the picture. So that's the idea of the flip chart. I just bought my, this flip chart on Amazon. I think it's like 10 or $12. And in this particular one, I, it's about three quarter of an inch and I have three presentations in there. So I'm going to buy another one as I do this. All right, so to make it very easy, what you do is in PowerPoint, you just go over here to File, okay, and then you click Save As, and you choose where you want to save it as, Document. Okay, so it defaults to saying um, PowerPoint. So now I'm just going to go here and click PDF. and save that. Client PDF, yeah, um, yes, I'll replace that because I can. Okay, so now it's just gonna publish that in a PDF form. And then what you can do is if you have a really great printer, you can print them off at home or you can just send them or take them on a thumb drive to something like Staples. All right, so there you go. So it's already there, it's in my PDF form, and all I have to do is either click the print button or I can save it into something so I can take it to Staples to get some really nice copies done. All right, so that was half the work. The other thing that you can do is again, go to File, Save As, again, Documents, wherever you wanna put it. Um, oh, actually, that's not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to, go to Print. And then print all slides. Then I'm going to print my notes page. And so as you can see, this is what's going to print. And sometimes some of my presentations are a little messed up. Sometimes right here, you, you'll be able to see each picture of the presentation, which is how some of mine are. Um, this one doesn't show it, show it, but so then I can just print this page and that will go on the back part. So I can read this or use it for notes as they're seeing the picture. Now, if you notice, as I scroll down, some of them are in two pages, some of the, not all the font is the same. So even though, so let's go back to the presentation, even though it won't change the look of what's in here at all in your PowerPoint, see this first slide, it had two pages of notes and that's not very convenient for me. And so I'd like to just make it one page. So I just highlight the text, go up here, I'm gonna change it to 10. Now I'm gonna go back over here to see if that worked for me. So I might have to do that a few times. Yep, sure did. Now that is just on one page and so that's much more convenient for me. And one thing also you can do is you can change this to landscape orientation um, and that way it just you know covers the full back. Otherwise you have to trim it a little bit to make it fit right. And so that's it. It's really easy. If you have PowerPoint, you just you're just going to save the slides as PDF and then print the note pages, put them front to, um, not quite front to back. So how it's going to look in your book is as you see one or the other. So this is one of my, one of my new presentations. They're actually, if you just lay it out like that, you'll see both the same slide because that's how it has to be. That way they can see this one. They'll see that and you'll see the note page. It's super easy. Hmm focus on that so you don't see my messy living room. All right, there we go. So it's super easy. Let me know if you have any questions, but 
that's how you get it done. Again, I got my flip chart on Amazon. Um, you know, the other day we, act, I was going to say you could probably check an off the store, but to be honest, um, the other day my husband was, went to like two or three different office stores and he couldn't find them. So, you know, just search Amazon, find one you like, and then, um, you know, put your presentations in there and you are all set to go. Have a great evening guys.